Welcome to our adventures. We are Sharon and Joe. In this series, we will complete our tour in all 21 counties. New Jersey is a state with so much variety. Beaches, mountains, farmland, and cities comprise this state. New Jersey has so much history and has some of the best food and craft beverages that any state could offer. We hope this series will help you find some of the hidden treasures of this tiny state. Welcome, Welcome to, to Salem, Salem County. County. Today we are visiting Salem County and we have a couple fun things planned and we'll bring you with us. Stick around. The Finns Point range light served as a point of entry and exit for maritime traffic between the Delaware Bay and River. In 1950, after the Army Corps of Engineers dredged the channel 800 feet wide and 40 feet deep, the Finns Point lights became obsolete. We are currently at Fort Mott State Park. And we came into one of the gun batteries here. Yeah. Pretty awesome. You can climb up and go inside the gun battery and check it out. They used to have the weapons mounted. The gun's not here anymore, but you can see where it was mounted. Yeah, it's cool. I, we always go to like really old forts. So this one was after the Civil War. Yeah. So it's a little newer than some of the ones that we've ever been to. This one was right around 1897, they said. 1900, around there. So it's a really cool place, but we'll check it out. We'll bring you with us. Welcome to Fort Moth. The firing of the guns in 1907 shattered windows on the post and the neighboring farms. The five inch rapid fire guns were produced at the Warren Arsenal in New York and were designed to have all around 360 degree capability. Fort Mott was designed after the American Civil War as part of the three fort coastal defense system for the Delaware River. The fortifications seen today were constructed in the late 1890s. By the end of World War, due to advances in military technology, the fort was considered obsolete. That's where the ferry comes. Yeah, there's a ferry that takes you over to Pea Patch Island. And you can take it right off the point here. Yeah, we actually have been to it, but we went from the Delaware side. It is technically in Delaware. But I had no idea that you could get to the island from New Jersey. So I learned something new today. That was really interesting. If you ever have a chance, go to Pea Patch Island. It's really cool. Right there. So you guys could see right here. That island right there, that's Pea Patch Island. And it actually has a prison on it, an old prison. It's really a cool historical place to visit. Um, I would definitely check it out. Come from the New Jersey side though, and let me know how it is, because we only went from the Delaware side. But it looks like it'd only be a two minute ferry ride. It's really close. I didn't even realize it, but we could get our own boat there. When the big guns were fired, vibrations similar to a small earthquake affected the delicate instrumentation contained within these observation towers. Soldiers had to keep adjusting their instruments to make accurate readings. To solve this problem, the Army engineers designed a concrete filled tube below the tower and attached it between the instrument platform and the ground.
We are at the museum part right now, but it's not open because they're having electrical issues, but it is open every day and it's free. And this place is really awesome. And we just went up the tower and you could do it. You just have to make sure you go with one of the guides. Yeah, it's a guided tour. Yeah, but it's really awesome. And um, we tend to like just do a lot more forts from like Revolutionary War times or Civil War times. So this is different because this is more modern technology and stuff. So it was really interesting. So definitely come check it out. They do homeschool tours. So you homeschoolers, check them out, call them and set up a tour with them and it's free. You'll love it. This place is incredible. So much history here. And show us pictures of the museum if you come because we didn't get to see it. Yeah. So on to the next. So guys, when you come to Fort Mott, you also need to check out the Finn Point Cemetery. Finn's Point. Yeah, and it's just right next door. You could walk to it from where you park at Fort Mott or you could drive. Um, there's not really good parking spots here, so we kind of parked, but I don't think we're really allowed to park the way we are, but there's nobody here, so it's okay. Anyway, this is really interesting cemetery. Um, this is where they brought the soldiers that died on Pea Patch Island. They had them originally buried there, right? They reinterred them here from Pea Patch Island. Yeah, so now this is a cemetery full of Civil War soldiers, and a lot of them were Confederate, so it's really interesting. Over 2,400 soldiers are buried here mm -hmm. from the Civil War. It's crazy. So the monument was erected to mark the burial place of 2,436 Confederate soldiers who died at Fort Delaware while prisoners of war and whose graves cannot now be individually identified. Wow. Oh, I guess I'm in the newer section and these are all people that served in the army. I see uh, somebody from the Korea War, the U.S. Navy, um, World War II. So it's pretty interesting. This is like the newer part of the cemetery. So we are here at Farmers and Bankers Brewery in Salem County. And we, it's an old bank that they turned into a brewery, so it should be really cool. We'll bring you inside. See you inside. Instead of Oktoberfest, it's Decemberfest. I'll try that. Hmm. And then Brew Jersey, which is supposed to be a good one like this one. Oh yeah, that one's really good. Brew Jersey? Yeah. He said it was his favorite, right? Yeah. Number four is, oh, this is called Tax Saison instead of Tax. <laughs> Tax saison. Mmm, it's good. And so wheat. So wheat. So wheat. Oh, they're all good. 
They're really good. So guys, we just finished the brewery and we wanted to just give our review real fast because we're with our friends and we don't wanna like embarrass them too <laughs> by having to talk so much. So anyway, we freaking loved it. It was awesome. It was such a great brewery. You definitely need to check it out the if you are. It's delicious here. We loved it. Yep. And now we're gonna go eat and have some delicious wine at our favorite winery. I know we said we won't be doing things like that we've already done, but because we wanted to eat good food, we know they have good food. So we're heading to Auburn Road Winery and we'll see you there. See you there, guys. We didn't record that much in Auburn Road. It's one of our favorite wineries. I've actually had my 40th birthday there a long time ago, but that's okay. Um, we freaking love their wine. It's so good, but we had our friends with us, so it's so hard to record when you're with your friends. And we our tried to do our love, best. Our friends that we love, Teresa and Frank. Yeah. No, we love them, but we tried to do our best with recording and we just want to say like we already knew we liked it because we love their food, we love their wine, we love everything about Auburn Road, but if you guys ever are in Salem County, check out Auburn Road, get some of their pizza. They only serve pizza on the weekends, but their pizza is amazing, their wine's amazing, their atmosphere is amazing, so just come check them out. And this is the end of our video, so we'll see you next week in another county. See you next week, guys. We really had a great time exploring Salem County and would recommend a visit. Join us next week as we visit a popular zoo, hunt for famous Cape May diamonds, and watch a beautiful sunset all in Cape May County. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Is there anybody out there?